Hey everyone, this is Rich from High Level How To, and today I'm going to be looking at how to build an image slider in High Level. This is something that quite often clients are asking for and we want to do, and a lot of the options out there you have to pay for, even though they are great. Today we're going to be looking at how you can do it for free. So let's dive straight in and as we look at this image slider here, know that everything that I'm saying today and the code I'm going to be giving you will work on nearly any platform. So if you're comfortable knowing where to add HTML and CSS into your website builder, then you can absolutely use this. I'm just going to be looking specifically at how to use high level. And if you haven't heard of High Level or you're interested in getting started, then I've got a link in the description below that's going to give you a free trial. Here is our image slider and you can see exactly what it is. There are a series of images. They are changing and revolving on their own, but we have got objects here to the side that we can go backwards, go forwards. We've got uh, some little circles at the bottom there so we can jump to the specific one that we're after. We've even got a little note of which slide in the series that we are on and a caption if we want it. So that is our image slider. We can edit any of those elements both uh, in terms of color but also to remove them if we don't want them. The question is how do we get this into high level? Well if you scroll down this Automation Geeks page, link in the description below where you can see this working. You'll also see the code. And if you want to start playing around with the code in this code pen, you can make edits direct in here and see directly the change that is coming. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this HTML source here and we're going to copy everything that's in this box. So click copy all of this. And you'll see here that we've got JavaScript in here as well as HTML, but that's okay. It can all go in the same box. So here in high level, we are in a website builder. The same would be true for funnels. In this case, I'm just going to create a new page. You might want to put this into an existing page. I'm going to create it from blank, but again, you might want to use a template or clone something else. So how do we get started here? We're going to choose a full width section create a one column uh, row here, and then we're going to add an element. <clears throat> and the element we're going to add is the custom JavaScript HTML element. So click on that and you'll see this pops up here. Now this isn't going to preview in this window. What this is going to do is to enable us to put the code in. And if we come across to the settings here where it says open code editor, we click on that, click into this box here, and we paste that in. If you've already got something in there, then uh, paste it above uh, or below that code in there. And you can see at the top here, we've got HTML, which is setting up uh, the objects. And then we've got this script section here, which contains some JavaScript, which is actually going to tell us uh, or tell the uh, browser what to do as you press the different things and, and auto advance. And we'll come back to that. So we hit save on that and that is our HTML JavaScript uh, included. Let's come back over to our site here and go to the CSS. Same thing again, we're going to want to copy everything that is in the CSS box here so that we can bring it over and the CSS is going to tell us how it is all formatted. Now in high level, if you want to put the CSS in, we come to this settings button up here in the top left and then come down and click on custom CSS. Similar looking box, but a, a different purpose and a different content. We paste that into there and then we click save. And then we can come along here, click preview. We don't need to worry too much about the metadata at this stage. And here it is. It's a high level page. There is an image slider in it working automatically going around with all the controls that you want. And of course, this can be embedded anywhere below your header with other items around it and you can change the size. If you are wanting to do some editing, then uh, go in and have a look. Obviously, you're going to want to change the images here. 
You just need to put in there the web address of those images. Don't forget, you can upload the images to the media manager in high level, right click on that image, choose get link and just paste that straight in here. You can change the little top right caption there, the, the, the other caption that is coming down, you can change all of those things or you can remove those completely. If we come down, you'll see there's some other things that we can change down here, notably the time. At the moment, I've got it set for four seconds. If you want five seconds, then you see you can just change that number. Have a play around with that, see where you get to. And then of course, don't forget, you can change some of your CSS, which is much more about what things look like. So if you're thinking you want a different color, some different sizes, the colors here, the grays, off-whites that uh, we've got on some of these controls you can see here. Use, if you're not already familiar with it, some sort of HTML color generator to figure out what colors you're wanting or in the high level editor itself, choose your color, take that HTML code, come and put it in here. You also see we put in here a bit of a, an animation fade between the things so it's not looking too jumpy but you can change some of those things as well. So that is how you put an image slider into high level for free. As I've said, if you're not using high level, then you still come to this page, grab this code. There would just be a different way of installing it in your website builder. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up, consider subscribing for more content. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. What else would you love to see us making or making videos about? Until the next time, goodbye.